This is a piece that I wrote specifically for the Fido players. It's called Shifting Sands. And it's just a kind of just laid back groove thing where we've got solos in it. It's essentially four parts, like a soprano, alto, tenor, bass, which is split up around the band with trumpets, French horn, trombone, violin, clarinet, and two altos. But it'll work with any instrumentation. The important thing is, when I count it off, everybody gets in the groove with it. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. One, two, one, two, three. <laughs> How have you found this band for making friends? I've made so many friends. Yeah? Yeah? And you've got a good thing going with them? You know, you, do you find that they encourage you? Yeah, they do. Consumes a large part of our lives. What's, what's, it, what's it like being involved in this? Well, it's absolutely fantastic because you meet children from a very young age up to very, very proficient in terms of their instrumental ability. And, um, you know, you get to see the whole range of uh, musicianship as they develop over the years, which is a fantastic thing to Yeah, because we've seen some of our former players make it to be professionals from right. right. control role models. That's right. How long have you been playing in Fajo? About two or three years. About two or three years. Okay, so what, what difference has playing in Fajo done to your playing the guitar? Well, I feel like it's a little bit more confident, more stronger player. Confidence, more strong player. I just think it's like a big community, like a big family, you know, everybody's really friendly and, and you just can't help get like, the vibe from you, of course, Richard, because you're wonderful, because obviously we first met you. Don't stop. At, the, <laughs> <laughs> at one of the very first sessions you were running in um, Curis Abbey, yeah, me and Sean right. and yeah. our assistant yeah. Central came, yeah. and that's how we got into Fajo, and that was when I think Sean was a primary seven, so he's in fourth year now, so he's been here a long time. Why do you come? Just because I like to, I like playing the trumpet and, and I just find it really fun. You find it fun? That's good. And um, what's different about Fine Joe compared to anything else you do? Because you don't get in trouble if you play the wrong notes. <laughs> Now listen, you're a, you're a very experienced teacher in, in, in the classroom, uh, teaching kids in school, but also in classical orchestras. What what has it done to you um, professionally coming along here on Thursday night, working with kids, and doing improvisation? It's just to show me what you can uh, achieve um, as opposed to what we do every day in the school. It's freed up the children so that they enjoy it so much more. It shows them what you can do without dots, without bits of paper, and it just lets them be more creative rather than saying you have to play this at that speed. And if you had to say, if somebody said to you, I'm thinking about joining Fiju, just look at that camera, yep. what would you tell them? But I would encourage you absolutely to come along. It's just, it literally is a blast. So, um, yeah, it's just great for meeting new friends who just love music as much as you do, and it just gives you a whole new musical rhythm. It's just absolutely wonderful. Thank you.
Thanks very much.